The difference between cavitation and ventilation. Keep watching. Okay, the way I, I'm going to explain this is the way this was explained to me. First of all, we're going to cover cavitation. And to make cavitation a little easier to understand, this I'm going to, I'm going to kind of give us a reference point here. People that do refrigeration work, you'll hear them say they got to vac down the system. And what they're doing is water boils at sea level atmospheric pressure at 212 degrees. So what happens is, is when you start vacuuming, put a vacuum on that system and you're reducing the barometric pressure, when you get it down to zero, the boiling point would be roughly 70 degrees. So you understand that atmospheric pressure, it's, you know, 212 and you get, as the pressure is reduced, the temperature at which water boils is reduced. So with that being said, let's look at the prop. The pressure increases as it comes up as it comes up the prop, which in turn causes the boat to propel forward. But what happens is when the pressure is released right at the edge of this prop and it drops back here, it goes into a low pressure situation. And when it drops into that low pressure situation, it causes the water to turn from a liquid to a steam instantly. And then it turns that steam into bubbles, and the bubbles, as you'll see trailing behind your boat, is the cavitation. And that is when water changes to steam. That's why they tell you it's important to keep the edges smooth and everything on your prop. Because if they start getting rough and you get cavitation, the bubbles form in earlier in different areas. When that steam comes up, it comes up as a bubble, but right when it first is formed, it kind of rolls into itself and loses a tiny explosion, kind of like the center of a donut, and it'll keep hitting on this edge and wearing it away. You see it a lot on on impellers and stuff in water pumps where you take them apart and the impellers eat up. That's cavitation done that. So that is what cavitation is. The difference in when you've got a high pressure situation the water, the, uh, and it drops into a low pressure situation and it instantly turns to steam or boils, however you want to say it. That's cavitation. Now let's talk about ventilation. Ventilation is when your prop is spinning, propelling the boat, and air gets comes down into this. And we've all experienced it. The minute it starts sucking some air when you're putting it on the trailer, your prop loses all efficiency and you no longer have any power. You can't back off the trailer, you can't get back on, you can't do anything, you're done. And that's what ventilation is. And that also can happen when you're going into a sharp turn or anything. You have your, your cavitation ventilation plates here. But when you're going into a sharp turn and that prop gets a little closer to the surface, the minute it catches a little bit of air, the lose all, all your uh, force of here because the, the prop doesn't push air very well. Same thing, and this is where they talk to you about not getting too close to the bottom side of a dam or a, a waterfall or some sort, because what happens is when that water comes out, drops down, it creates a lot of air and it gets a circular motion down there. If you get up in that with your boat motor, it's the same as when you're putting it on the trailer. You get all that air on your prop, you lose efficiency and the prop cannot work. And even cavitation can cause that. I mean, if you, the more, the you're better off to try to keep the air bubbles off of the prop. And you'll see a lot of this, uh, 
big vessels and stuff, they'll have a multi, you know, you, you, the more blades they'll put on, the slower they can turn, the less cavitation that the prop creates and a more efficient it runs. You know, when you get into some of those props that are, you know, forty, fifty thousand dollars and you get a lot of cavitation and it starts eating it up, you know, it gets into a lot of money. Even this prop here, as you can I don't know if you can see that, it's got a nick right there. That little nick Let's see if I can get closer and you can see it. That little nick right there in that prop will create cavitation. What that means is in the, in the, when the prop is gone and it's on that high pressure, just like we discussed, and that water drops through there and gets in a low pressure situation right behind that, it creates that the steam, which the steam in turn, when it goes from the high pressure to the low pressure, is turning like a little miniature explosion, and it'll keep damage it even more and more, and until it actually ruins the prop. So, you know, and that's why they tell you when you got places like that is to uh, to get them fixed. Don't take and keep running it because it's not good. This is the way it was explained to me. I'm explaining it to you the same way. So. I hope this helps. I hope it clears it up. You know, they make all kinds of different, uh, you know, ventilation plates for the top to kind of cut down on that, uh, you know, from getting air at the surface. So, you know, and, and I'll leave a link to a couple of them in the uh, comments below. But uh, anyhow, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and just FYI that anybody that would like to help uh, support our next uh, project, uh, I have Patreon, and it's currently set up to, you know, if you want to give me a dollar for each new video I produce, that's, I'd appreciate it. Any support would be appreciated. Thank you very much. Have a good day.